What up, folks? And welcome to another the Marijuana Tube 420 production up on YouTube in this motherfucko. You know what I'm saying? Here we go, folks. We're gonna start off with an old number seven, it's Jackie Daniels Tennessee whiskey mash sour mash with some cola, six percent, four seventy three milliliter. First few sips or so, it's got that weird uh, Jack Daniel taste to it, and it's got cola in it, and it's not by Fago's National Beverage Company, so that's a little like, ugh, because you know I'm not really a pop person, and you know how different Fago is and stuff than most pops, so cheers to that, but you know, it's a cool to drink sometimes, and it's newer in town and whatnot, and let's start with some hospitality by Muck Sticky and talk about him and shit. Cheers. Wakey, wakey. First off, folks, when I finally got my order I made on the Super Bowl night, which was a couple weeks back because how lots of people have to keep waiting because how there's so many orders apparently on this site that some people have been waiting a while. I knew nothing about the best of five that I got. Now his uh, site has the best of five listed, and like I said, after best of five, there's even two others listed. Do you know what they're about? Do you know if it's like new songs and different versions of old songs? What do you know? There's like hanging with my butt and something else, I think. I don't know anything about those CDs, but here's what I think of the first five. Okay, the nervy, nervous frifty was the first one. Yeah, it's a nice CD. I liked it. Uh, Lord, hear my prayer. The third last track. It's him, and I think I read that it's like his grandpa and grandma. They did a couple songs together, but they were kind of like gospely country style sort of thing, but he's got his watermelon song on here, you can rock out a bit on here, there's Stone at the Pot, Love Dinner, the original version of me, I like that version, but I prefer the other version, and if I'm not mistaken, the very first time I ever heard Muck Sticky, whenever that was, I think it was the second me version, because that's what happens, some of his CDs, he'll do the same song again, the title might be the same or a little different, and then it's like the music and the lyrics that change a bit. But this is a good CD. Then the one that came next, which one was it? Where is it? Oh yeah, then the next one that came out was the Sticky Mock. Oh, that's a good CD. We Shall Rise again is with his uh, grandparents. But there's the Aw oh, Yeah Baby's Weird, but he's got songs about getting high on here, songs about like, barbecues and all that. It's a good CD. Then uh, after that comes Muck Sticky Wants You. I'm sorry, I'm not hating this CD, but of all his first five CDs, since I don't know the other two after the best of five, <coughs> excuse me, I have to say this would be my least favorite of them all, and if you listen to the whole CD as a whole, it's a little annoying, because three of the tracks in here, um, they're basically just intros into the next song, so it's the same music, same kind of talking, just some of the words are changed a bit, and there's always like a joiner blunt being uh, lit, and then they agree with what the thing said after they're smoking it, and then they're like, yeah, so let's go, it's basically, they're just like, what do you want to do today, blah, 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 watch wrestling, blah, 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 this, that, let's go fishing, yeah, and then they're going into a song about fishing, then rise and shine after fishing, same music as let's go, basically same skip, but talking about food, and then it leads them into cereal time, and then... Track 12 is called Let's Have A. Again, same music, basically same skit. And then you go into a song about barbecues. Let me do it the time. Oh, okay. So when you hear this whole CD as a whole, 
it's a little bit annoying how a lot of the tracks are very similar and basically the same thing just a few words changed and they're just like these little intros into the next track but if you're going to listen to much sticky songs you gotta hear them as a full for the cds but i'll say this was my least favorite of the first five but it was still good and a lot of the cds are only about 40 something to 50 some odd minutes long Cheers again, folks. So, again, it's a little annoying and my least favorite, but it's still good. And, um, when I finally listened to last night, Bubbling Cove, that we got some of it on right now. Good CD. But I always thought Hold It In was going to be a song about, like, hold your head of weed in. Nope. <laughs> it's basically a song about like chicks farting. <laughs> I know. But yeah, this is a good song, CD. We just play Hospitality. We're listening to some Homie. Uh, oh, yo, 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 fuck that. You guys gotta hear some of Keep It Clean with a K for clean. And Lil Sally Ho Ho is just like they're whistling to a beat. It's really short. But yeah, this has the High Times song. Good shit. And then what came after that? And then Mug Sticky's my friend! That's my favorite one of them all of the first five. Woo! You gotta hear this one. It's really rocking and yeah, when I listened to this one a couple days back, I was kinda like dancing around a little bit. It's just Man, muck sticky CDs, but smiles on your face. Sometimes you're laughing and stuff. Oh, it's good fucking times, folks. But this was my all-time favorite one of the first five. And this was my least favorite of the first five. Enjoy a few more tunes, folks. And peace out. Goodbye. Stay positive, stay happy, stay peaceful. If you swear, if you smoke pot, if you take mushrooms, whatever, as long as you're not doing stupid hard shit, the point I'm making is you can be a pothead and still be successful and still be a good person. If you're like me and some people are hating on you for doing it and making you feel like you're evil and shit and whatnot, fuck them, they're wrong. Keep it up. And keep doing it, you'll stay healthy because. I'll let you know, I'm the only one that hits the herb in my family. And so far, as we speak, out of the family, like my parents, sister, grandparents and all that, I'm basically the healthiest one of them all so far, so that tells you something. Uh, I know maybe one day I won't be as healthy as I am now because I drink sometimes and whatnot. But so far, I'm one of the healthiest in the family, if not the healthiest. And I'm the only herb smoker. So I ain't stopping every chance I can find some. Uh, I will, but I don't got a connection right now. I'm still kind of looking for another 20 sack or whatnot. So, peace out.